Okay, so we're given then that i equals 16 minus 16 times 0 0.5 to the power t, where t is greater than or equal to 0, and we've got to find di by dt when t is 3. Don't think, by the way, that this is 16 times a half, which would be 8 to the power t. That's always a common mistake. Um, but anyway, how do we find di by dt? Well, this is going to be our problem, differentiating 0 0.5 to the t, if anything. And so I'll show you how we differentiate any constant to a, a power, which is a variable. So just come over here and uh, we'll have a go at it. So let's just suppose we had y was any constant, let's say a to the power t, and we've got to find dy by dt. What you do is you take natural logs to both sides. So that'd be the natural log of y equals the natural log of a to the power t. And then by the power rule for logs, we take this t out to the front of the natural log of a. So we end up with the natural log of y equals t times the natural log of a. The power rule then for logs. Now we're in a position to differentiate this with respect to t in this case. Differentiate with respect to t. Now, if this was just y, then differentiating with respect to t, we'd write dy by dt. But it's not y, it's the natural log of y. So what we've got to do is do what's called implicit differentiation. And if you're not sure about implicit differentiation, just go on my website and look under implicit differentiation and you should find some tutorials there. But if we differentiate this with respect to t, you're going to get to have to differentiate with this with respect to y first of all, which would be 1 over y, and then you write dy by dt afterwards. All right, implicit differentiation. Now when it comes to differentiating t natural log of a, natural log of a is a constant. a is a constant. If you log a constant, it's still going to be a constant. So it's as if you've got like 2t here, or 3t, or 5t. So when you differentiate any of those, like 2t, you'd get 2, or if it was 5t, you'd get 5. Being t times natural log of a, it's just going to be natural log of a, because natural log of a is a constant. So therefore, dy by dt will equal y times the natural log of a, if we multiply both sides by y. Now y was a to the power t. So what we have is that dy by dt is equal to a to the power t times the natural log of a. This is quite a lot of work to go through this, but this is a standard result, one that you should try and remember that if you've got y equals any constant to a power, then dy by dt is that constant to the power times the natural log of that constant. So this is the difficult part, I think, of this question. The rest should be fairly straightforward because we can differentiate this now, di by dt. If we differentiate the constant 16, that's 0. Then we have minus 16 times the differential of 0.5 to the t. So compared to this, the a is the 0 0.5. So what we get is 0 0.5 to the power t, natural log of 0 0.5. So if we just write that in, we've got 0 0.5 to the power t times the natural log of 0 0.5. Now, We've got to say, what is this value then when t equals 3? So when t equals 3, di by dt is going to equal minus 16 then, up here, 
Let's just think of this as a half, a half to the power of 3 multiplied by the natural log then of a half. And it's much better to keep this as a fraction as you'll see as this develops. Half cubed, well that's going to be 1 over 8. And 1 eighth of 16 is going to be minus 2. So we get minus 2 for this part here. Now the natural log of a half, we can think of this as 1 divided by 2. And in natural logs, or any logs for that matter, that's going to be the same as the natural log of 1 minus the natural log of 2. Remember that when you subtract logs, it's the same as dividing. Now what is the natural log of 1? Well, the log of 1 in any base is 0, something we should know. So that means that we've got minus 2 times 0 minus natural log of 2. So it's going to be a plus, so we've got a plus there, 2 natural log of 2. And by the power rule for logs, we can take that 2 up as a power and have the natural log of 2 squared. And 2 squared is going to be the natural log of 4. And that's our answer.